Tonight, a bizarre murder, one that ends with the suspected killer dead as well. News 4's Ashley Moss is on Crime Watch with details. Police say they responded to a call for a welfare check Thursday afternoon just before 3 o'clock. They found a woman dead at their apartment complex that's right behind me. Community members we spoke to said that they were shocked to hear the news. That doesn't happen over here. Um, I'm shocked that something happened like that. I had a sister-in-law live in those apartments in a long time and there was no issues at all. Officers say the woman, later identified as 28-year-old Jasmine Smith, had multiple injuries on her body, leading them to believe she'd been killed. A family member of the suspect had indicated that they felt like something was wrong and that police needed to respond to the, to the apartment where the victim was found in the homicide. And in a twist, while investigators were still on the scene, highway troopers arriving at the same home for a death notification in a fatal car crash. Turns out, the victim was the murder suspect. Police believe he and Smith were dating. While they were working the scene and processing it, uh, a trooper with the Oklahoma Highway Patrol had arrived. Uh, they had informed officers that they were uh, searching for a next of kin at the same, at the same address in um, reference to a fatality collision that had occurred. Officers were able to piece together that the deceased person from the crash was the, su was the suspect in the homicide scene that we were working. Highway Patrol now believe the crash that killed 29-year-old Christopher Johnson may have been deliberate. Witness statements show that uh, that it was intentional, wasn't trying to hit any other vehicles or anything else, actually steered into the guardrail. And then uh, number two, that roadway was wet, but it wasn't icy. Uh, it was clear it had been well-maintained by the Turnpike Authority in that spot. In Northwest Oklahoma City, I'm Ashley Moss. Oklahoma's News 4. The highway patrol has turned the car over to the Oklahoma City Police Department. Officials say both the fatality crash and the homicide are ongoing investigations.